Hey, are you looking for more employment opportunities as a junior developer? More than likely, if you went through a boot camp or some other form of training, you were only taught a certain number of languages and you might be having a hard time right now finding a job for your skill set in those particular languages. Well, I have some really good news because there is one language that if you will learn, you can open up a whole world of possibilities when it comes to your career. And after all, that's exactly what we're looking for, right? Opportunities to advance our career. So what is this programming language? Let's talk about it. Hey, Junior Devs, Dev Mentor Dave here, helping you bridge the gap from learning to code to launching a successful career. Now, one of those things that are really gonna help you launch a successful career is learning the right things that will give you the opportunity to get a great job, to build a long-term career, and pay you well. If you've been around this channel very long, you've probably heard me say something to the effect of, you need to learn a different programming language. Because here's the deal, if you went to a boot camp or some other training center, you probably learned HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And if you were taught any sort of full stack development, you probably learned JavaScript on the back end, which is Node.js. Now I wanna say from the outset, none of that is wrong, but it's a little short-sighted. While there are a lot of jobs out there for Node developers and, and JavaScript developers on the front end, there's a lot more jobs out there for other types of developers, such as Java developers or Go developers or other backend developers. And today I want to share with you what I think is the best backend programming language that you could learn right now that will help your career, not just right now, but many, many years down the road. So, what is this language? Well, it's PHP. If you're not familiar with PHP, basically it's a back end server side coding language, usually used for websites. Uh, web applications, web servers, things like that. And so it's going to be designed for a lot of the things that we're really building today. Most people are building websites, they're building web apps, mobile apps. Mobile apps often will connect to a backend via an API, and a lot of those backends are built on PHP. Now, PHP is not the only backend programming language that you can learn. Obviously, we just talked about Node but I wanna give you three reasons why PHP, in my opinion, is the one that you need to learn if you want to really put your career into high gear. The first reason why you should learn PHP is because really it's easy to learn. If you've taken the time to learn JavaScript and you're familiar with the concepts of JavaScript, you'll be able to transition pretty easily from JavaScript to PHP. In fact, PHP is the first and pretty much the main backend programming language that I know that I learned, and I learned it all by myself without YouTube. Nowadays, you have YouTube and you've got lots of different tutorials and lots of different ways that you can learn PHP and all these other backend languages, but PHP specifically. It's easy to learn because it has a huge community. There's lots of examples out there. There's lots of help out there. There's lots of tutorials out there. And if you've done any sort of programming at all, PHP is going to be one of the easiest backend languages for you to learn, for you to understand, and for you to get good at quickly. Hey, thanks for letting me be a part of your developer journey. We're in the process of building a community where junior developers can grow their skills and take that next step in their career. So if you're finding this content helpful, would you help me get this message out to more people by clicking the like button? And if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified the next time I upload a video or the next time I go live, which is every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central United States time. Also, don't forget you can take your involvement with the Dev Mentor Dave community to the next level by joining our Discord server via the link in the description. Thanks again for your help and I'll let you get back to the video. But not only is PHP easy to learn, it's also extremely widely used. If you're gonna look for a specific language to find a job, you need to find a language that is used all over the place, that is ubiquitous. PHP is that language. In fact, if you go to w3techs.com, you'll find that they do a lot of surveys as far as what kinds of technologies are being used on websites these days. 
As of the recording of this video, PHP is used in 76% of the websites out there on the internet. Now I do have to be honest with you. When I say websites, that includes a lot of things. That's not just web applications, that's also websites. A lot of websites are built using content management systems and two of the most popular ones are WordPress and Drupal. Guess what both of those use? PHP. So if most of the websites being hosted out there on the internet are using WordPress or Drupal, and honestly, it's WordPress more than Drupal by a wide margin, and they're both using PHP, well, that's gonna be a lot of websites using the same technology. But even web applications are using PHP. That's the main programming language that we use at my company when we develop web applications. Even Facebook was founded with PHP and today still uses PHP in various different aspects of the application. So PHP is easy to learn, it's everywhere, and because of that, there's lots of jobs out there for PHP developers. Now, of course, with any language, the more you know, the better you are at it, the more likely you are to get a job. But with PHP, there's an even wider variety of jobs that you could get actually writing PHP code. For example, you could go the WordPress route and actually use PHP to develop themes and plugins to work with WordPress. Or you can use one of the many PHP frameworks that are available to help you build applications. My favorite is Laravel. So if you're looking for new opportunities, something that's going to allow you to, to pivot your career options and maybe avoid some of the pitfalls that all the other junior devs are running into right now, you need to learn PHP. Hey, I really hope this has been a help to you on your developer journey. And if it has, could you click the like button for me and help me get this out to more people? Also, if you find this content helpful and you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified the next time I upload a video or the next time I go live. Right now I'm going live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central US time as we work through a project together called Deep Pockets.